I know I know. All right, hold on. Okay. And <laughs> we are going to begin our presentation of I Know an Old Teacher. And begin. I know an old teacher who swallowed a pea. It fell from her hair and plopped into her teeth. Did you see that? And remember, Dylan, who are you talking to when you say that? You're talking to Ava. You say, so you look at her and you say, Did you see that? See what? Miss Billy swallowed a flea. Ava? A nasty flea? How can that be? I know no teacher who swallowed a spider. It crawled, crawled down the wall and sat down beside her. She swallowed the spider to grab the flea that fell from her hair and plopped into her teeth. I can't believe that! Believe what? You're turning it, Dylan. Miss Brindley swallowed a spider. She swallowed a spider right after the flea. How can that be? Good job, everybody. Okay, let's use our big voices. From I know an old teacher who swallowed a fish. It swam down her throat with a swish de swish. She swallowed the fish to gobble the spider. She swallowed the spider to gobble the flea that fell from her hair and plopped into her teeth. I know you saw that. Yeah, remember, children, child one, child two, and child three, you guys are kind of, tomorrow you'll be standing off in a little corner. Because you remember in the book how they're spying? So you guys are kind of off over to yourself. So Dylan, when you say that, look at Ava and say, I know you saw that. I know you saw that. So what? Miss, she swallowed a fish. Good job. Child three? Child three, Hayden? A fish, a spider, and a flea? Before you guys say it, I'm going to point over here. So ready? Let's try it again. How can that be? Okay, narrator one. I know an old teacher who swallowed a rat. She gulped down the rat in two seconds flat. She swallowed the rat to gobble the fish. She swallowed the fish to gobble the spider. She swallowed the spider to gobble the flea that fell from the hair and popped into the teeth. Go. Okay, Dylan, it's your turn. I can't look. Good job. Is it bad? Miss Bunny swallowed a rat. A rat, a fish, a spider, a flea. How can that be? Good job. Your turn, Dylan. Miss Bunny. Hold on, now you say, uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's checking out Jake. You think she'll do it? Swallow a snake? I know a little teacher who swallowed a snake. Ethan, you're up. It slid down quite smoothly like mom chocolate shake. She swallowed the snake to gobble the rat. She swallowed the rat to gobble the fish. She swallowed the fish to gobble the spider. She swallowed the spider to gobble the flea that fell from her head and popped into the teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Aiden? There he goes. She did it. She swallowed Jake, a snake, a rat, and then a fish, a spider, and a flea. How can that be? Okay. Child one, child two, and child three, I need you to stand there. You don't need to bounce around, please. Make sure you're watching your script. Dylan, 
Ava and Hayden, can you look at me real quick? Make sure you're watching. You're, you're doing a very good job with the way that you're saying your lines, but make sure that your script isn't like this because we want to make sure that everyone can hear you, okay? All right, we're on our last page, narrator one. I know an old teacher who swallowed a lizard got stuck in her gizzard. Our sweet Lizzie Lizard. She swallowed the lizard to gobble the snake. She swallowed the snake to gobble the rat. She swallowed the rat to gobble the fish. She swallowed the fish to gobble the spider. She swallowed the spider to gobble the flea that fell from her tail and popped into the tea. She's got old Lizzie. She can't have our Lizzie. Well, she's got her going, going, gone. <laughs> Poor Lizzie. A lizard, a snake, a rat, and a fish, a spider, and a flea. How can that be? Hayden, you're up. And you're looking hey. at Dylan when you say this. You're looking at Dylan. Hey, she's staring at you. Okay, well, you don't actually, make sure that you're not actually poking Dylan in the eye, okay? Because you just poked him in the eye. But but you can, Hayden, stand back a little bit and say, hey, she's staring at you. So you can say that to him, just to make sure that you don't actually touch hey, his face, okay? Hey, she's staring at you. Staring at me? Good job. How can that be? I know a little teacher who swallowed a child. Swallow a child. The teacher smiled. <laughs> I would never do that. Awesome job, guys. Okay, okay. Make sure you don't bump the table. Bow. Now, at bow, the bow, end, bow, yes. Bow, at the end, bow, what do we do? Bow. bow. We grab hands. And you can go ahead and just lay your script on the floor like this. Just lay it down in front of you. You're going to grab hands, lift them up, and take a bow. Right? Okay, now, a couple things. When our, just stay right there for just a moment. When we are reading our scripts, when we are in between lines, hold on, Dylan and Ethan. Ethan and Dylan and Hayden. Can you stand up real quick? When we are in between lines, Hayden, if it's not your turn to read, should you be like bouncing around, walking around, messing with your friends? Should we be doing that or should we stand there and just wait for our turn? Stand there and wait for our turn. Right, and you need to make sure that you're following the lines so that you know when it's your turn to speak. Awesome job on the slides. Very good with that. You guys did a wonderful job. Every time I pointed to you, you were ready to say your lines. You only said it one time. She, no. You said, I think you said it two times. No, she, they said it three times or two. But you did awesome. You did a really, really good job. And tell me again, what are some things that we're learning? When we do a reader's theater, what are some things that we learn with this reader's theater? Just stay back here for a moment, guys. What are we learning? What are some of the rules and what are some of the things that we're learning? Anybody can answer. Ethan. To remember to bow. To remember bow. to bow. Remember to bow at the end. Dylan? Don't goof around. Right. We're not goofing around. We're acting like mature first graders, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure that we stand where we need to. We're not poking our friends. We're not getting crazy around the room. You the guys did an awesome job today. Matea. The old teacher smiles. Hold on, Matea. Have fun. Have fun. Absolutely have fun. Ava. Don't don't play with your friends. During right. Your, We're not playing lesson. with our friends. Like if you turn the page, everyone else, and you don't know what it is. That's right. We follow the script, especially our audience. We show respect and we watch our friends. Dylan, what else? Mm, you don't read like this. Right, we don't read like this because we're never even going to So tomorrow when we have a lot of, when we have our audience, our audience is going to be bigger tomorrow. So you can follow your script. You can hold it down like this. Just make sure that you don't have it in front of your face like this because then nobody can hear you. You guys have practiced hard. You've done an awesome job today. You did a very good job making sure that your scripts were down here. Remember your lines? Remember your lines. It's important to follow to make sure that you're ready when it's your turn to talk. What else do you think? The old teacher smiled. Don't make noise. It's good to be respectful. Don't, um, don't turn on the camera. 
<laughs> that's that's important today. Um, what else? Something that else that we're learning that I didn't mention uh, the past few days is how to speak. Oh, how to speak in front of people. Everybody, eyes up here. Eyes up there. Eyes up here. Eyes up here. Eyes eyes up on you. Okay. This is also teaching us how to talk in front of people because as you get older, that's going to be something important, an important skill to know. So today it's just our class. Today it's just our friends. Next time it's going to be the principal. Tomorrow we will have the superintendent. We may have the principal. I will have. I will be there. Just a second. You won't be here tomorrow. Okay. Maybe well. I will. We'll have to find someone who would like to take your lines tomorrow. Maybe I will. David, pick David. Okay. Also, we're going to have some other friends, some other first graders. I told a few people that they could come and watch you. I told them how awesome you're doing. And so I want you to know that we might have a few extra friends tomorrow, okay? All right. Very good.